respect people. has to go in this truck but i'm gonna go ahead and take it out the box it's a case core should be sliding in and out and uh hopefully we can get some footage for evaporator core change out So we'll get we'll go ahead and get started. I'll pack kind of light. I'm sure I'll probably forget forgot something. Got a knife, flashlight, copper cleaner, copper cutters, wrench, knife, gloves. All right, so this is the the unit with the leaking coil. Hopefully I got a two inch coupling. So we got the TXV loose. Clean the copper wire right there. Got our PVC disconnected. Probably should sweat this out to give me more copper, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I don't think it's no uh O-ring or anything in this equalizer line. So I should be it. So I hope I save myself enough. for that screw straight ahead back there. So we remove that screw right there. The bracket shield kind of fall off and should be better to slide it out. All right, so I was hoping I could slide that out, which I probably could if I forced it, but
appreciate it. Kind of got a rhythm to it now. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and cut this PVC out the way. Just, just so it'll slide in there perfect. We'll just put a coupling on here. I'm a little rusty with this. But I was brought up with these right here doing plumbing work with my dad. We did it manually. But I got a Dewalt Sawzall that I use. We had to cut three, four inch pipe by hand. So I'm a little rusty. I haven't used this thing since I had it. But uh yeah, we just put us a coupling on here. Now we should be smooth selling. At least I say that. I'm gonna go down and get my torch set. We'll come back, get it brazed in. Not gonna take much.
y'all. So we pulling our vacuum. Well, I pull the vacuum. I don't have any two inch PVC coupling, so I'm gonna run. Uh, I can probably home depot right up the street and go get one while that's under a vacuum. That's the old core. Probably see that leak. See the leaking in that corner down there, probably. Better in the daylight. Or not. But, uh, leaking down there pretty good. All right, folks, let's see if we can get our exhaust pipe put back together and our drain line. We got a coupling from Home Depot. Let's put this back together. Got our exhaust put back together. Drain line. Go to secondary first. Fire it up. Must got the fan on only.
check the pressures, then you're ready to wrap it up. Folks, I'm going to wrap this call up. I'm running behind because I didn't have a two inch coupling. I had the rods at the Home Depot. Traffic was crazy. But uh, we got it back up and going. I'm weighing in the charge right now. I put about 4.8 pounds up in there. That's that just the back of the charge. I'm going to let it run. Go speak with the homeowner. Go collect our money. And uh, should be good. I want to get that sub cooling up. Hopefully I get my sub cooling up. It's a beautiful day, probably about 81 degrees right now. So she's running beautiful. I'm gonna give me a temperature split, record, record my temperatures, and got a good man back up and running again. All right, y'all, thanks for watching.